Welcome back, uh, dear viewers, and you are still watching The Breakfast Show. And in this segment of our program, we will talk about the launch of the National Human Development Initiative, BDAYA. The initiative aims at investing in human resources through a program working on human development and working to consolidate the Egyptian identity by enhancing efforts and integrated coordination between all state agencies. And to share more light on this initiative, we are joined over the phone by Dr. Ayub Mahmoud Ayub, former Minister of Commercial. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you and to the viewers. So, uh, Dr. Ayub, uh, how do you see the importance of uh, launching this initiative as a new beginning for building the human being? This is a very important launch and it comes at critical time and which was badly needed. That is why it is very important that we see the details of this initiative because it is, I will call it, rebuilding of the human being, rebuilding the citizen, rebuilding the Egyptian so that he will be more positive and more cooperative with the government efforts as far as building a, a, a strong nation and also building the human being himself to be a positive force in the community, not just a recipient of aid from the government. So, uh, Mr. Uh, Ayub, also, uh, the initiative works in uh, many important sectors such as the health, education, culture, and sports. How do you see the importance of all these sectors in building an aware, uh, awareness and empowered, an aware, so rather, and empowered human being? This, the strength of this initiative comes because it discovers all the necessary aspects of life of the Egyptians. When we speak about education, we need more schools, we need more teachers in the schools, and put in practice what we say, which is very important. We need to put in practice what is the slogans which we launch, and so that the people can see the results of the efforts done by the government in the recent years, and according to the directions of President Abdullah Sisi, and we have to do everything possible to cover the areas. When we say, speak about education, health, culture, and, all, and even human relations in the community, the, the, the role of women in the community, these are very important aspects in the development of the country as a whole, and they all work together, not independently, or like we are not they are not islands, but rather they are cooperating together to launch a human being who is able to face the developments in the international sphere. So, uh, Mr. Ayub, what is the importance of the participation of different state institutions to make this initiative a success? The initi this initiative, in order to be successful, and it will, is that all the government organizations coordinate together. They are not working as islands as they have seen this, but not, rather they are, co 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 they are working as a team. It is a team where we are all rowing in the same boat to reach our goals. So the coordination between the, the several and different government organizations and even the private sector and business community it is very important to ensure the success of, it, of this initiative, which covers all aspects of life which makes a viable country, a viable Egypt, which can face developments in the international sphere. So, uh, Mr. Ayub, in your opinion, uh, do you think that providing new educational programs and providing infrastructure for uh, schools can affect the building of human beings? This is a very important development. I, I will call it a basic development because we need educated citizens, not just illiterate, but rather educated citizens who can cope with the developments which, which you are seeing internationally and locally, and also that he can be recipient, well, well a recipient of the directives of the government and the efforts of and so that he can understand what is needed and what is his role, and he plays his role in full accord, uh, under the umbrella of the government efforts in this respect. So it is important, vital, and has to be abided by all the citizens. 
So, uh, sir, also uh, the importance of financing uh, small uh, projects uh, to make this initiative a success and achieve citizen developments. Uh, can you elaborate on this? Yes. When we speak about small business, we well, speak about almost 40% of the business, the business in the country, this private sector. The small business, they are working without any cover. Now when they are covered in some way or other by the government organization and institution, they are sure that they are protected from any adverse developments which we all have all over the world and not only in Egypt. So protecting the private sector and ensuring that the small business is protected from developments encourages them and increases the number of the uh, uh, businesses and also the beneficiaries of this, of this initiative. That is why it is vital to ensure the, vi the viability of the small business so that they can cope with, can compete and add to the community and the national income. So, sir, um, also can you shed light on the role of NGOs and private sector to uh, cooperate with the state institutions to uh, fulfill uh, the main targets of this initiative? You touched a very important point, yes. the NGOs. Hmm. NGOs has a role to play and they are playing it in full and in many cases they are even in the, in, in, the, in, the, in the vanguard, they, are in, they, they, they initiate business, they initiate new projects, they, they show the government what is needed here and there, and they begin on working with it. So the NGOs and the private sector are very important, they are vital to ensure the success of this initiative by the Prime Minister, which will reflect on all the citizens of 110 million Egyptians who are aspiring for a better place under the sun. So, sir, also uh, we have uh, many initiatives uh, that target uh, the development of uh, the um, Egyptian uh, uh, people, like a decent life initiative. Uh, to what extent this uh, initiative is considered uh, a, a part of these initiatives that took place before? It, it puts a seal that is, it, it, it ensures that these, the fruitful success mm. of the previous initiatives in this, like Haya Karima and the others, so we have called to cooperate together to ensure the full implementation and find the finance, which is finance is necessary for, the, for this initiative, because without finances, we cannot implement the initiative. So the government is doing its role and its effort, which is the utmost to ensure that the, all the citizens are cooperating together with the, with the government to ensure the success of the initiative because it will reflect on all the citizens, not only those who are cooperating with the government. So, sir, uh, the importance of uh, human development uh, to uh, succeed, the, what is the importance of human development uh, in achieving uh, uh, Vision 2030? Vision 2022 is a goal. Mm. To reach that goal, we have to understand, we have to raise awareness of what is needed and how to do it and how to finance it and the practice, in practice speaking, how to do it on the ground. So the initiative is very important because it highlights the importance of awareness. Unless the people are aware of the dimensions of the initiative and unless they are cooperating with the government and the Irish, they play the role, the, 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 their important role, we have to be very considerate as far as enabling the citizens, the, the individuals, the private sector and the NGOs and other organizations to play a role in the success of this initiative which ensures a better place for Egypt in the very near future. Sir, uh, one of the main targets of this initiative is to qualify young people for the labor market. Uh, what's your comment on this? This is a very important aspect which you are working on for years now. The, the, the new generation needs to be able to do his, its job. To do its job, it needs training. It needs awareness. 
So sometimes we change the, the, the field in which the boy or girl are working so that they can be more productive. And it is very important that they enable them through training and so on so that they can understand first and do their job and follow up what they are doing so that they reap the results of their efforts and we have to cooperate and also to support this initiative as far as the new generations are concerned because they need a place under the sun and we have as, as, as elderly people and our government organizations uh, who have a responsibility to enable them to, to play their role, their, 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 their important role in achieving the goals of the, this new initiative. So, uh, sir, uh, the initiative is expected to last for 100 days in various governorates. Do you think that 100 days are enough to achieve this target, or we need to keep on working on developing the human being? I think we need to, to, to keep on working. Maybe yes. with this 100 days, three months, and 10 days is just the initiative. That's, that's the beginning, the yes. preliminary uh, stage. But it needs to continue after the 100 days to the 100 months and so on. We need to, co organize, to encourage all the individuals and organizations, not only in Cairo and Alexandria, but all over Egypt, in the South Egypt and North Egypt, in, in Sinai and in the Western Desert, so that we work together to achieve the goals, because the goals will make Egypt as more strong and more formidable for any 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 forces who are trying to attack it. Yes, uh, finally, I'd like to thank you, Dr. Ayoub Mahmoud Ayoub, former Minister Commercial. Thank you for being with us today. And uh, back uh, to uh, our reports, and uh, Abdin District is uh, the home of Abdin Palace, a 19th century Cairo palace built by Kadif Ismail and uh, served at uh, the Egyptian royal household's primary official residence from 1874 until July Revolution in 1952. Since then, it has been one of the presidential and Im important presidential palaces. Let's go and see more about uh, this palace in the coming report.